welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I haven't really done a video like this before, but for the past few days, I have um, been trying to think like what can I upload and I've been brainstorming and brainstorming and I haven't really been able to think of anything and I realized that I think tomorrow it would have been two weeks since my last upload so I was like you know what my subscribers my supporters they're probably missing me I should probably get a video up um, I do know that I'm going to be vlogging this upcoming weekend uh, today is Tuesday I want to say it's December 4th but I feel like it's the 5th I'm not really sure um, but I know that I'm going to be vlogging this upcoming weekend as I think I'm going to have a pretty decent exciting weekend but I didn't want to make you guys wait all the way until like the beginning of next week for a new video so I was kind of thinking and thinking and I was like I just remembered that I actually vlogged the day I got discharged from the hospital it will be three weeks ago this Friday since I got discharged and I'm so 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 happy to be out um, if you guys didn't watch my last video the spill or fill your guts challenge with my friend Brooklyn. It was super duper funny. It was a great video. I had so much fun filming it. So if you have not checked that one out, please make sure you go and do so. Um, but I didn't really um, make a video about coming out of the hospital or like um, kind of where I left off at. So basically you guys know that when I do get admitted, it is usually around, it's usually two weeks, but sometimes um, it ends up being three weeks, sometimes four weeks. It has happened before, but my personal perspective, I would rather stay in there for as long as I need to be um, and come out as healthy as I can be no matter how long I have to be in there for it does suck but I mean what's the point in getting out like when you're not at the best you can be right because then you can just possibly come back in in the next month or two and obviously I didn't want that um, this past year as you guys know if you've been with me for a while um, sadly I have been in the hospital quite a bit in the past year or so or even like the past three years, um, but you guys do know that I love to vlog my hospitalizations to keep me entertained and just, you know, to spread awareness and positivity and to connect to some of you guys. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy my last hospitalization um, vlogs that I did and make sure to go watch any other ones if you haven't. So yeah, um, basically when I got discharged, I think I ended up being in there for almost three weeks. I think it was like 16 days or something, I don't know. Um, Basically right now I am on two oral antibiotics, which isn't anything out of the ordinary to me. I'm literally always on oral antibiotics. And if I'm not on oral antibiotics, I'm usually in the hospital getting IV antibiotics. So I'm trying to fight some of my infections. Hopefully they don't come back. I am doing several different breathing several different did I say that weird? Several different breathing treatments a day. Um, obviously I'm doing my normal ones that I do, which is my Pulmazine, Hypertonic, Pet Mask, Autogenic Drainage. Um, but I also did, when I got discharged, I did a five-day course of inhaled vancomycin. Um, and then I'm also taking a pill, orally, like, antibiotic for my MRSA. Really trying to kill that MRSA. My mom is the sweetest thing ever. She went out of her way. Because obviously, as you guys know, like, when you have MRSA, usually I could have it in my lungs, which I do. Hopefully I don't at this very moment. But when I did the swab results, and if you guys did follow my hospitalization say you would know this, but sadly... It came back positive for MRSA being on my skin, which isn't the first time that's happened to me. And it is very common, you know, when it's in your lungs, it will get on your skin. So once again, I'm doing the whole wash where you, it's like this, I forget what it's called. It's like chlorexidine. I could be totally wrong on that one. But it's like this sticky red, really bad smelling soap that you have to put all over your body when you take a shower and like wait a minute for it to like sink in and wash it off. And my whole family has to do it. It's such a pain, but it's to keep me healthy. And of course, mom's like, we do not want you back in there for your MRSA. So she went as far as like cleaning all my makeup brushes, buying me new makeup like sponges and beauty blenders. She deep cleaned my whole entire room and bathroom, which I do clean them obviously quite on a daily, but my mom is very, very, very good when it comes to cleaning. She bought me like an air purifier. I already had a diffuser, but she got more essential oils to like kill specific bacteria. So Hopefully that will keep me out for a few months. I don't really know. Um, I know that I am going to Mexico for two weeks with my Nana and um, her boyfriend and then my cousin Brooklyn, which you guys should know by now, um, and then her mom, which is my aunt. So I'm so excited and it'll be my very, very, very first time going to Mexico and I haven't been anywhere like tropical since uh, I was four years old when I went to the Dominican Republic. So I'm really hyped about that in two weeks too. My Nana and her boyfriend are going for six weeks, but obviously I couldn't be away from the hospital and like home for that long for health reasons and whatnot. And school still, I still am in school even though I only have like one class this year, so it won't really affect my schooling. 
but I'm so excited. I'm going away February at some time, um, and since it's for two weeks, I really need to keep my health up before then, so hopefully I don't have to go into um, the hospital before then, but if that's what I have to do to stay healthy, if it's what I have to do, you know, if I have to have a two-week tune-up before I go to Mexico to make sure I'm healthy while I'm in Mexico, it's not the worst case scenario. I guess we're gonna play by ear. Um, I know when I got discharged, uh, my CF team said they wanted to see me in five weeks time, which would prob probably be two weeks from now or something, yeah? So like probably a little bit after Christmas or something. So cross my fingers, everything will go well when it comes down to that. But for now, I am just focusing on now. So I know I'm rambling, but this is why this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm kind of just updating you guys, and then I also have some clips from the day I got discharged um, in the hospital to show you guys. So just please bear with me while I'm talking and explaining everything, and don't worry, I will, you know, keep it entertained throughout the rest of the video. I know a lot of you guys did want me to do Vlogmas, which I would love to do Vlogmas, but sadly, I just don't think I have the time in my hands to be able to film, edit, and upload every single day. Um, please keep in mind that I am still a student. I am only 17 years old, so, you know, I do go to school every day, even if I only have one or two classes, I do go to school. Plus, you know, since I was in the hospital, I am taking a lot of time up to spend with my friends right now, and um, just catching up with my family, my friends, and um, everything like that, you know, like Christmas shopping, also because being a vlog, like, doing Vlogmas for a regular person is probably already really hard. Um, especially if you have a family or anything, and then when you add what I, like the responsibilities that I as a, as a cystic fibrosis patient have, like taking or remembering to take like all your pills, like 60 to 80 a day, um, then there's, you know, your treatments, your physio, like making sure my sugars are always under control, and like, I don't know, I just, personally, as of right now, I didn't think Vlogmas would be, um, under the best circumstances to do right now. So hopefully you guys can understand that, please, 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 but know that I want to do Vlogmas, I just don't think that it is. And if I were to do Vlogmas, I'd want all the videos to be like A1, and um, I wouldn't want to like let you guys down with that. So you guys know I'm a perfectionist when it comes to editing and videos and whatnot, so please, please, please understand. Now I do have a few more things that I would like to discuss, but um, for now, as I mentioned, I do have some clips from the day I got discharged, because I was vlogging the day I got discharged. And I had like a few clips like of me getting my pick line taken out and just like me kind of getting out of the hospital. Also some carpool karaoke, which I mean, if you don't really like carpool karaoke, you can just skip through the five minutes. But if so, feel free to watch and enjoy it. Um, and then when I think when I got home, I think I was just so excited to like see Nathan and Amy again because we went out for like frozen yogurt and whatnot. So I think I just, I don't know, it's not like I forgot to vlog, but there wasn't enough footage to upload it and make it into a good video. Um, so sadly I didn't really like do anything with any of the clips so yeah so for the next 10 minutes or whatever how many minutes it may be of the video enjoy um, the vlog of me getting discharged from the hospital and keep in mind this was three weeks ago so we're gonna just kind of backtrack into time real quick hey everyone so we are look at this out oh the packing up <laughs> This is when you love bringing things from home. So it is officially Friday, I don't know the date. 16th. Okay, Friday the 16th, and I got in on October 29th. So I've had my fair share, and uh, we're just clearly going back up to uh, return the little trolley, you know, as if you're here on a hotel, in a hotel stay. I've got my pick out, which I will insert the footage of me getting my pick line out here. There we go. It didn't even get changed, did it? No, oh, it did. Did it? Okay. Mm. Lean it. Is it feeling really like mm. not good, eh? Okay. There. Let's leave that soaking while I get my stuff ready. Okay. <laughs> Dusty. There we go. The lobby, like NBC Jones Hospital, has a beautiful Christmas tree. So I will take a little clip of that. I think it's so pretty, and this is my first time seeing it, even though I'm getting discharged. Um, 
But yeah, so this morning was pretty easy. Um, I got ready because I had to film this little video for like the CF Canada thing. My mom already did her part. And then um, I always said they should have like movies in this, I mean not movies. <laughs> they should have music in this elevator that like goes to like the beat of the lights. Because like, that's what you want if you feel like I would. <laughs> Up beats your, uplifts your spirits. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys the beautiful Christmas tree. Look how beautiful this is. It looks so beautiful. So we just stopped at Starbucks, did my online order. The online order I got, it's like a strawberry lemonade blend. It literally tastes exactly like if you ever tried the freckled lemonade from Starbucks. I mean not Starbucks, Red Robin, clearly I can't think. Some on Ben and Jill or something. But it's very, very sweet. Did we even push the button? I kind of forgot we need to push the button. <laughs> We're just sitting here waiting. Yeah, like I was thinking, it's only got to go one floor. But yeah, it's good, just very sweet. Can you stir it up for me? Like people were looking at me weird because I have like the whipped cream with the caramel, but like you guys know I love my whipped cream and the caramel drizzle for whatever reason. I don't know if it goes uh, with the whipped cream or with the caramel. I'm like, apparently. Like, yeah.
Green apple and mango. Which Nate, what did you get? Um, Oreo um, and almost the keto. Cookie dough and um, what surprise you said? And last time cake Dad batter and chum chum. I got cake batter, green apple, oh Reese's piece of peanut butter, and then just a bunch of toppings. What did you get, Mom? Mm. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. You see what I mean? How like I was kind of vlogging for the first bit, and then when I got home, and I'll just kind of like went downhill from there so when i remember i looked over at the footage i think that night i got home i was like this isn't really uh this isn't really enough footage for me to actually make a video so that's why when i was just kind of struggling the past few days like ah what do i upload i was like you know what they i know some people who were like where's your hospital discharge vlog like you always uh vlog you getting discharged from the hospital so i was like you know what maybe i should just upload it and then kind of combine it with like a little bit of an update video so that is what I'm doing moving on um, I know last year I did vlog Christmas Day and Boxing Day so since it's like December we're getting to the Christmas festive spirit um, if you guys would like to watch my Christmas and Boxing Day vlogs I will link them in the description below so you can feel more than free to more than free to that did that did that make sense you can feel you could if you would like to watch those vlogs feel free to do so as they will be linked below and who knows, maybe watching them will get you super duper excited for Christmas because I know I am so excited. Another exciting thing, if you guys didn't already know or you guys didn't, uh, if you guys don't follow my spam account or you didn't see this post, I am so excited because I'm getting my second tattoo in about a month-ish. Um, I've been wanting this tattoo, like, I literally knew I wanted this tattoo when I got this one and I was, like, debating on which one I should get first, but I think I wanted my first one to be in more of a notice noticeable spot, and because I knew I wanted to match with my Nana, I knew that my Nana would feel ten times more comfortable getting this one, not even just, like, this. It makes more sense for someone without CF to get this one, and, like, this the spot it's in. So, if you guys don't know, I will also link that vlog below of me getting my first tattoo, because I think I only had around, like, 1,000 subscribers when I got it. So, if you haven't seen it, I will link it below. I still can't believe my Nana got it with me. She's such a cool Nana. And then my next one, I want to kind of keep it a surprise. Um, that way, you guys will have something to look forward to when the vlog comes out. But just know that I'm super duper duper stoked. And comment down below if you have any ideas of what you think it may be about, or what you think it maybe of if you are my friend and i have told you don't comment though because i want it obviously to be more of a surprise as i was just mentioning if you guys would like me to vlog christmas and possibly boxing day this year just let me know in the comments and i probably will just a reminder for those that don't know and i'm sorry for those who have heard me repeat this so many times but i do really like to get it out there that way people are aware that yes um all my instagram accounts are private um for my own personal reasons i don't really feel open enough to making my accounts non-private yet just because um so if you would like to follow my instagram accounts especially my main account which is the melissa powell one um with two a's at the end of melissa just feel free to dm me saying hey i'm a subscriber i like to follow you and i will accept your request but please do know that i do see all of your guys's lovely and kind like heart-filled messages that you guys do send me but um i sadly don't have enough time to reply to all of them i mean sometimes i'll like them or send a little short reply um please know that they mean so much and i appreciate it tons um but yeah so if you are a subscriber because i have a lot of follow requests on my main account and especially my spam account and of course i'll kind of let anyone really follow my main because it's not really too personal but on the other hand my spam excuse me um my spam account is a little more personal just kind of random things about my day-to-day -day life i spam you guys i don't know how the heck i have so many followers on there and follow requests honestly because i literally post on there so much i don't know how people don't get bored of me and how people are still entertained but um, I'm a little bit more picky about that account, so, you know, if you do DM me on that account, um, maybe it will take longer for me to accept your request, I don't really know, and please do know if your account, obviously, I hope this doesn't make you unprivate your account just because of this, but if your account is 
on non-private, I'm more likely to accept your request that way I can like see, you know, I don't know. I've just always been kind of like weird about like letting certain people follow me just because, I don't know, like scary things happen, I don't know. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, actually, I literally just found out about this like about an hour ago. Um, so I forgot kind of that the day I got discharged from the hospital, um, literally I was like, I was already discharged, like the doctors already signed the papers and I was literally staying in the hospital room because I needed to finish this video. Um, but I got approached, um, this isn't the first time, but CF Canada um, approached me to do a small little video for their Twitter account. <clears throat> just talking about um, my story with CF, like how old I am and whatnot and like just kind of what the question I got asked the most is and um, just to kind of, you know, say to donate, please, as it would mean the world. So, um, I filmed it and I think it, they just posted it on their Twitter account today and I'm in love with the video. I think it's so cute. It's such like a little video, but like, I don't know, it really just touches my heart. Even though I'm the person in the video, I still like, I've watched it so many times. I just think it's like the cutest little thing. So if you would like to know what the, what I put as the question I get asked the most is, you know, just go and check it out and feel free to share it or re retweet it on Twitter if you have Twitter, um, but that will also be in the description. So as you guys know, for most people, the month of December is a pretty busy month of the year. So please try to understand if I'm not as on top of my uploading schedule. Like, you know, when I'm in the hospital, I do upload quite frequently and that is because when I'm in the hospital, I'm literally doing nothing, obviously. So that's why it's easy to film and edit and upload in the same day. Um, but I'm also trying to get up or caught up on some of my schoolwork that I missed out on. I mean, usually I do have an IEP, which is an individual education plan. So my teachers don't really make me usually. Um, but this year, since I am graduating, I do have to do my grad trans. So like, I can't really not do my grad trans or else I'll be, um, I, won't, I won't be graduating. So um, I'm trying to finish out as soon as possible because then that means I don't have to go to that class for the rest of the year, which obviously would be like a plus. So I am trying to do that. but. Please know that I would I love to upload and I love to see your guys' comments and responses. So any ideas that you guys want to give me, please just throw them in. Just whatever they may be, just throw them in. Other than that, I don't really think I have um, too many more updates. I kind of just want to sit down and talk to you guys for a bit since I haven't had a chance to do that in a while and catch you guys up on, you know, the day I got discharged and what's been going on in the past couple weeks and remember to look forward for an upcoming weekend vlog that I will be vlogging this weekend. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say lastly, thank you for all your support and kind comments and please know, oh, actually that's, so, how did I almost forget this? Guys, as much as probably some of you may have noticed, I'm almost at 10K subscribers. Like you can just see like the light and like the smile on my face. I am so excited. Like. Honestly, if, I don't know if you've stalked my channel way down, but I started YouTube May 2013, so I was 11 years old. Yeah, 11 years old then. So it's been a long run, and as you guys know, I kind of did YouTube for like uh, two years, from 2013 to 2015, around the same time. And then sadly, at the end of grade eight, I stopped because I was scared of what the older grades would think, or the older kids. And then I restarted up again just over a year ago, and my channel has grown so much, and I literally was like getting like emotional. I just received so much support and like, I don't know. I just, I didn't really expect my channel. I'm actually like crying right now. Why am I crying? Okay, I haven't cried in a long time. So like, you know, you don't cry in a while. The waterworks just come out easier. Um, but I don't know. I just didn't expect my channel to even grow this much. Like I had no idea that I would hit or like that milestone in my life. Never mind at this point in my life. And I just, I know there's other channels out there that grow faster, but for me, just knowing that there's almost 10k people in the world that care enough. I don't know, 10k, like 10,000 people is a lot of number to me. A lot, does that make sense? A lot, a, a big number to me. Um, and I'm just so happy for when I finally do hit it. I think, I don't know, I think I have like 200 more to go or something. I'm not sure. But please, from the bottom of my heart, know that I'm so thankful for every single one of you. And also a reminder that my P.O. box is always in the description of my videos. If you'd like to send me something, you are more than welcome to do so. If you guys want to help me hit 10K, hopefully as soon as I can, I know that the more I upload, the more my subscriber count gains. That's why I'm like, okay, like I... I really need to get back on my uploading schedule like I am when I'm in the hospital. But feel free to do so um, by, you know, even just taking a screenshot of my channel and posting it on, like, your Instagram or your Snapchat or story or whatever it may be. Um, and just kind of, like, letting people know that, um, you know, this channel promotes nothing but positivity and 
Um, I try to make it all about, you know, bringing kindness and awareness to cystic fibrosis and um, diabetes and just, you know, I love to create memories and laughs on this channel and I'm just so, so, so excited that I'm hitting 10k soon. It literally blows my mind, but I couldn't be more happy and thankful. Thank you everyone for listening to me rambling um, for a solid like 10 or 15 minutes and hope you guys enjoyed the vlog of me um, getting discharged. If you haven't already, please make sure to get to... If you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as it would mean the world and especially... Oh my god, I can't talk. If you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as it would mean the world and if you also haven't, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every single time I post a video. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you guys will have a great week ahead of you and I will see you guys in my next video.